What's up guys, this is Cody here. And iOS 10 beta 3 was released today. So of course, I wanna go ahead and make a video and just show you guys the new features and changes that I've been able to find in iOS 10 beta 3. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. So the first thing that I'm really happy about is in iOS 10 beta 2, they got rid of that new keyboard sound. But you can hear right here, if we go ahead and open up our spotlight, it's very faint. You might not even be able to hear it on the mic, but it is actually, it's back. So that's really nice. I'm really happy that they put that back in there because the old, after hearing this and then going back to the old sound, it was just, it sounded like just so loud and exaggerated. So I'm glad they brought this back. Next, we have a new lock sound. So when we hit the lock button, you can hear this. It's very, very short and abrupt. Uh, if I go ahead and open this back up, I'll put it up next to the mic so you guys can actually hear it a little bit better. So I don't know what I think about that. It sounds really abrupt, like it doesn't even play the entire sound or something. But at, as of this point, I'm not really a fan. You also notice if we go into settings here and we tap on general and accessibility and we scroll down here to the home button that we actually have rest finger to open toggle right here. Now this is not a brand new feature, but this is something that wasn't in previous iOS 10 beta. So this is of course is something that people are gonna be probably happy about. And of course what that does is allow you to rest your finger on the home button and it's going to unlock the device. Because previously, if we go ahead and toggle that off, if it would toggle off and we go to the home screen, you'll see if we just tap cancel and hold my finger over it, it'll say unlocked up there, but it won't actually unlock until you hit the home button. Now another feature with the lock button is there actually is some haptic feedback when you press it. Really hard to tell, you're probably not gonna be able to tell uh, from the video or the sound, but there's very small haptic feedback there. So in the previous betas, for devices that had 3D touch, if you actually 3D press on an application, it would just say share if it didn't have a 3D touch menu. But now it actually says share and then the name of the app right there. Now another new feature or new animation, you can see right here if we go ahead and open up our Safari and you pull down on the notification center, it actually gives you a new folding out type of or reveal uh, animation for the notification center. Also when you're pulling down a notification center from inside an app, you'll actually get some haptic feedback as you're pulling it down right up here at the top. Also in the previous beta, the 3D touch menus were actually really thin font. Now you can see that they've actually bolded that out a little bit for these as well. So that makes them a little bit more legible. And if we go into the music app here and open that up, actually right here in the search menu, so when you go into search and then you tap on search, the Your Library and the Apple Music tabs have swapped. Also, this tab used to say in library rather than your library. Also a new feature in the messages app, as you can see right here, if we go into this and we tap on the arrow and you tap on the little heart, this actually has a new button right here that you can tap on and this is going to bring up your camera, which you can actually draw on right here. So if we just select the color, you can actually draw on the video. So it's basically like Snapchat and you can do it as you send. So then we can stop and then we can send that off. and you can see it'll actually animate as the video. And then of course your color picker is right here above the camera, so you can tap on that and select your color. Going into the control center, you can see that the font is actually a little bit thicker here as well. So just for reference, we'll actually show you this on iOS 10 beta 2. You can tell the difference between the text right there, it's just a little bit thicker in the control center on beta 3. Also, if we go ahead and go into settings here, tap on privacy, we can scroll down here to diagnostics and usage, and you'll actually see a toggle for improve activity. So this is actually going to be correlated with your health app. So what that would do if you toggled it on would basically send anonymous data back to Apple, focused solely on health related aspects. Also going back here out of privacy and settings, if we tap on Siri, you'll actually see a new section here as well. So if we go ahead and tap on app support, you can see in this page, it's actually going to show you what apps work with Siri and what apps access your data in doing so. And this last one is one I didn't want to test out for myself, so I actually got some uh, screenshots of it. So if we tap on this, you can see that in iOS 10 beta 3, it's actually going to uh, warn you if it detects water. 
So it'll say right here, disconnect lightning accessory. Liquid has been detected in the lightning connector. To protect your iPhone, disconnect the lightning accessory and allow the connector to dry. So if you tap ignore, then you're actually gonna get a little pop-up right here and it says ignore warning. Ignoring this warning may damage your iPhone. So then you can tap ignore and it'll ask, are you sure? Because this could cause irreparable damage to your iPhone. So if you're on your phone in the shower and you decide to charge it, you're probably gonna see that error. Also from the lock screen here, if we hit the home button, you'll notice if I rest the wrong finger on here, it says try again, but I actually don't get any haptic feedback like I did in the previous beta. So that's just something, I don't know if it's a bug or if it's an actually new change that's been implemented, but you can see right here in beta two that it's definitely vibrating on the wrong fingerprint right there. Now another feature that I discovered that actually is not new in iOS 10 beta 3, but I figured if I just discovered it, maybe you guys haven't heard of it either. I believe it's new to iOS 10. I haven't heard anybody talk about it or anything. So what you can do is actually open up your app switcher. And I mean, you see all these apps and you can actually swipe back all the way to the springboard with one swipe. Now I actually have to take it out of the dock in order to do it because otherwise I can't get a good swipe. But you can see if I swipe really hard, it actually goes all the way back to the beginning right there to the springboard so we can open it back up. But you can see in iOS 9, if I do it on this device, it's definitely not going nearly that fast. So you have to swipe several times to get to the beginning. So that's just something that I thought was kind of cool. Now one thing I am so stoked about, like probably the most stoked about any of these, is that they changed the volume of, oh no they didn't, damn it. Ah, <sighs> maybe iOS 11. All right guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, Make sure you hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. Of course, you guys want to stay up to date with everything Apple as well as everything jailbreak and everything tech. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.